Part of learning trigonometry is understanding the unit circle. Uh, other teachers that I've known in the past have assigned a project for learning and understanding the unit circle. This is the first year I've done it. So it turned out pretty well. I just asked the students to, to make something that they like using the unit circle and they used flags, um, they made shields, a little Mike Wazowski poster there. They also have a pizza pie and the one that was especially interesting was the uh, the bicycle wheel for the uh, unit circle. Uh, Jack Albright did that and he's especially proud of that one I think. So this is my unit circle project uh, Mr. Reikley assigned for us to do the unit circles and this is my take on it. I found some spare parts that I had in my basement and a bicycle tire and uh, just nail it together and thought it turned out pretty good. So I can turn it on and, I, and it spins. So there you go. Yeah. So in trigonometry, um, the unit circle is used to really understand trigonometry, to understand cosine, sine, tangent, to understand degrees, what we usually use, and how that relates to radians. So a unit circle just has a circle of a unit that is equal to one, and it really shows the different points on the circle and what the values are. Sometimes they're whole numbers or um, many times they're irrational numbers. But if you can memorize one quadrant, you can uh, solve many trigonom trigonometry problems uh, just by knowing that one quadrant of the unit circle. So the, the students, when they first see a unit circle, they really don't know the meaning of it. But I think by introducing them to it as a project, uh, then they own the unit circle a little bit better. They actually write these numbers down and look at their meaning uh, a little bit better and have a little bit of fun with it. So that was the intent of this project that I've done for the first time. But I was inspired by other teachers who have, have uh, assigned this project in the past. Thank you.